Anacostia High students face a lot of barriers to success, from regular violence to funding deficits. They called for change in October. We want to have a place for us to be safe. And now parents are stepping up with an answer, what they say is the school's first parent-teacher student organization in more than a decade. Losing another student has made a difference in um, our children's activism. They've told us, you know, some things that they want us to do, and we need to have the funds to be able to do that. The PTSO founders said part of the problem historically is the huge gap in median income between their ward and much of the rest of the district. 2017 census data shows the median income for Ward 8 is a little more than 30,000, while the cities boast more than 80,000. Anacostia's budget was actually cut last year. The way we can get private funding, we could undergird that loss that we had. They're trying to raise $50,000 by their event on December 5th. And they level the playing field in a way that our students um, around the district are able to experience. We would like to get money for technology, money to supply the after school programs. Are you thinking that some of these programs would help cut down on some of that violence that these students are traumatized with? I think Definitely. we know it would. To have a safe place to, to go is important to us. In Anacostia, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.